Damn, son, where'd you find this?
awesome. You're listening to Broncho live here on 90.3 KEXP, streaming all over the world at KEXP.org. That song, Sandman, and the song before, Boys Got to Go. Uh, the new album is called Bad Behavior. And uh, that song, just immediately, right when I first heard it, I, I just said to somebody, I was like, this, is, this sounds so Broncho. And then someone no, really? would ask me, like, what does Broncho sound like? Someone that isn't familiar with the band. And I actually have a hard time describing it. I mean, I hear elements of some new wave in there. Uh-huh. And I hear some elements of, and then so somebody will be like, so it's a rock band. I'm like, well, yes, but it, I don't know. There's just something very, very smooth about the Broncho sound. So thanks for sharing with all of us today. Thanks for having us yeah absolutely. good to be here yes and how's the tour going so far good yeah it's always uh always keeps us entertained you yeah know? there's <laughs> well, always something going on yeah well, I just even you. just uh lunch you know having that to do is, feels pretty good <laughs> they got something to do That's go true. eat it yeah keep going Keep moving forward. That's right. Yeah, I just saw you all uh, a couple days ago at the Fisherman's Village. Yeah, Fest. it felt really good up there. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, yeah, it was a blast. Actually, um, our paths keep crossing. We've talked yeah. about this, Ryan. Like for the last seven or eight years, for some reason, our lives keep intertwining. The first time that I had uh, met you was when a mutual friend of ours was wanting both of our bands to be on the label that he was managing at the time, and uh-huh. introduced me to you at the Sunset Tavern in the Ballard neighborhood here That's right. in Seattle years and years ago. And then uh, both of our bands played the Sasquatch Music Festival. I ran into you backstage or in the VIP area, whatever. And we had a great conversation there out at Sasquatch. It was, uh, definitely the VIP area. Yeah, it's the, the uh, free drink area. Every time we've hung out, it's always been in the VIP <laughs> area. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> so true. Is that our choice or is it just coincidence? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were going to do this in studio and then the, the snowstorm happened. Yeah. and Or yeah. snowmageddon, as I, they called it. If, uh, it was an honor to be up here during the snow. Because it's rare. Snowmageddon. Or at least that much snow. 2019. Mm. Yeah. Was it 19? Yeah. I think it was. It felt good. I was also in Seattle on like one of the hottest days. Mm. One time we played somewhere else and that <laughs> felt, I was very honored to be a part of that. You're just here yeah. for all the monumental events. All the records. I try to be here for them. <laughs> <laughs> and also, is it true, uh, Ryan, that you started playing music uh, because your, your brother told you that if you bought a bass guitar, you could actually play in his band? Is that, yeah, is that how it goes? Yeah, he told me that. And I bought a guitar. <laughs> bought a bass at Daddy O's. With paper out money, mm-hmm. and uh, that I lost previously, I saved up two hundred dollars and left it on my brother's car, and eventually got another two hundred dollars and got that bass. Nice. And then you play played music with your brother for a while. Was that uh-huh. the band that became Cheyenne? No, that was a different band. Okay. Cheyenne happened uh, kind of in the college years, mm-hmm. uh, and I started playing with Bo from Cheyenne played with them for a while i feel like all of us have kind of done stuff with Bo, uh in one way or another Mm -hmm. all part of that norman Norman. world that we were a part of Mm -hmm. and you're yeah from norman oklahoma but you're living in tulsa are you living in tulsa now i live in tulsa Mm -hmm. two of us live in tulsa two live in norman Mm -hmm. other guy's not with us today but he's good yeah um, Norman, Oklahoma, of course, uh, many people know that. Also, home of the Flaming Lips, correct? Yeah. And Tulsa, Oklahoma, not only home to Broncho, but also it's the place where Weird Al filmed his movie UHF. One of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Yeah. I, I watch it like once every few years. You kind of just, <laughs> I, I, I can't help myself. It's a great movie. Yeah. Uh, some people don't know this, but you spent a little time in the band Starlight Mints that's right. for a while. Yeah. And uh, that's another kind of Pacific Northwest connection because they put out some records, or Starlight Mints put out some records uh, through Barsook, a local Seattle label yeah, as well. Yeah, love Barsook. Yeah. I was with them here on that uh, record-setting hot day in Seattle. Oh, that was with yeah, a Starlight Mints them. tour? Um, also, I was doing some more uh, research about sort of your musical roots because I actually didn't realize uh, that you were in Starlight Mints. I didn't put that connection together. But also, when you were really l- young, you, when you were growing up, uh, you were once handed a cassette tape from a girl that you had a crush on that was The Pretenders, and it was the first time that you heard a Brass in Pocket. Yeah. And that song That's is... That's right. How'd you know that? <laughs> <laughs> and digging deep. Yeah, that was like, I fell pretty hard, pretty fast. Mm-hmm. That was the first song on there, on Brass on Pocket. It was mm-hmm. your favorite song. I'd never heard it. And 
It's been my favorite ever since. Yeah. I was going to ask, because uh, I, I love those moments when they happen, when you hear something and it sort of inspires you and you sort of paints a picture in your mind. Aside from The Pretenders, uh, were there any other musical moments that have crept into like your music or, or that uh, your approach to music? Any more transformative musical experiences? I'm always, I'm all ears at all times. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to take in uh, everything and then I feel like we're all filters for the different things that we get into. Um, Roy Orbison had a huge impact on me in a similar way that uh, Chrissy Hind did. Mm -hmm. And... Um, but there's a bunch, so it's just, uh, those are two I can think of right now, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, a lot of stuff mm -hmm. from up here. This is a great area up here. Yes, thank you. Sorry again about taking the team. I think this, this should turn into, this feels like we're turning into somewhat of an espionage scene where like maybe you guys are going to send us back to Oklahoma <laughs> to get your team back, which we will do if you guys want us to do that. We can help. We can be spies. Key Arena looks so good right there. It's like a pyramid mm -hmm. um, that's kind of got layered over a couple things that look good. Key mm -hmm. Arena looks good on top. Mm -hmm. They're remodeling it right now. To get so, your team back. It, or maybe in hopes. We'll do, we'll do what we can from our end. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody in Oklahoma. We don't want them to know. But we'll go behind the scenes. We'll do some spy work. And Thank you. Get you guys your team back. It would be very much appreciated. <clears throat> I think is that you, treasonous? I, no, I think you. I think that you could help in that department. We'll help. We'll do what we can. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm not mad at it. We got Starbucks there, so you guys already got some spies. Cre we creep in a you little bit. You guys got some espionage going on there <laughs> in OKC. Get your team back. Thank you, Ryan. We'll do what we can. Again, we don't want to be treasonous. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do anything that would get us in trouble back home. I. I. I uh, but. Sometimes we are in trouble back home, so maybe it doesn't matter ultimately. I mean, the album's called Bad Behavior. That's right. We now, must have planned Now this. we know why. <laughs> I think we maybe mentally planned it. We did, didn't mm -hmm. we? I think we did. That's why we keep running into each other. That's right. Yeah. VIP. Here we are. I'll see you in the VIP hopefully after this. Yeah. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you. I yeah, think you, Troy. Yeah. Can we hear some more music from Brancho? Absolutely. Yes, thank you. This is Broncho live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
Broncho, live here on 90.3 KEXP. The new album is called Bad Behavior, and always fun running into all of you. And thank you for sharing your sound with all of our listeners today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. That was Broncho, live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?